One of the biggest potential challenges when using a modular synthesizer is intonation, keeping oscillators in tune with each other as you play up and down your keyboard. Now, most oscillators have trim controls on them so that you can adjust their tuning. For example, these little holes in the front panel of the Moog Mother 32 is how you access its pitch trimmers. Moog even provides you with a handy little tool to do the trimming. However, some oscillators require you to take them out of the rack in order to tune them, and others, such as the Mother 32, do not have high precision trim controls which can require a lot of patience and make them a little bit fussy to bring into tune. Therefore, my new favorite module is actually the AGH Synth V-Scale. It is a buffered multiple with one input and five outputs. One of the outputs is always an exact copy of the input. However, the other four have adjustment trimmers on them. This allows you to slightly tweak the tuning of an oscillator they're connected to without having to take the oscillator out of the rack, etc. These are also multi-turn, very high precision trim controls, so you can be quite accurate in your adjustments. Now, before you do tuning, you want to warm up your synthesizer for at least a half hour. Mine's been on for a few hours now. And what you want to have is a reference oscillator, something that you can leave at a steady pitch to compare the tuning of the oscillator you're working on against. Since I want this to keep the same pitch, I'm not gonna run any control voltage into it, but I am going to initially run pitch voltage from my unadjusted output to my one volt per octave input on the Mother 32. I'm going to set the Mother 32 to middle C, that's octave 4 and high C on this little keyboard controller. I have its main frequency knob at 12 o'clock to begin with. And so that we can both see and hear what's going on, I'm going to take the sawtooth output from my reference oscillator and run it through my Mordax data. I like to use the same waveform if possible for my reference oscillator and the one that I'm tuning, just to make sure they have the same timbre and I don't get confused about what octave they're playing. I'm going to run it into input number 2 route that to the external audio in on the Mother 32 and get that cable out of the way. I've already tuned the distinct to middle C. It's very, very close, within a fraction of a cent. I'll switch to oscilloscope mode and make sure that I'm synchronizing my display to my master oscillator. So I'm going to go to its input adjustment here, change its source channel to channel 2. Keep that. There's the sawtooth coming out of my reference VCO, and I'm going to take the sawtooth output from the Moog and plug it into another input on the data. And that slight movement that you see shows that the two oscillators are not in tune with each other right now. There's a slight drift. I'll play a note. I have a 50-50 mix. And that phasing you hear, sometimes referred to as beating, is the amount of detune between the two oscillators. Now, I already tuned the Mother 32 using its own trim control, and I got as close as I could last time I did this, about a year ago. But since it does not use high precision trimmers, I could only get so close. Let's get our middle C in tune. You hear both in the sound and by seeing the waveforms. When there's no more movement or difference in between the two, they'll be in tune. That's pretty darn close to in tune. Now, when I play an octave down, there's still some movement. When I play an octave up, there's also some movement in the opposite direction. If I go up an octave, there's quite a bit of detune in between those two oscillators. So the last time I trimmed it, I did get fairly close, but we can do even better. I'm going to move my voltage output down to output number two here. The V-Scale ships from the factory with all of these outputs being at perfect one volt per octave tracking, but I've been playing around with this module and this one may be out of tune now. I mean, the middle C is in tune, but I go one octave up, oh, it's quite out of tune. And one octave down, it's very much in the other direction. So let's go about trimming output two to get the Mother 32 in perfect intonation. I'm gonna go to this high pitch, take my little trim control here, you can use a very small screwdriver too, Start adjusting it until I don't hear any more beating and don't see any travel between my reference oscillator and the one that I'm tuning. You see how many turns I'm making? This is a very high precision trimmer. That's pretty close to in tune, but let's see what the other octaves sound like. Dead on. Maybe very slight drift. And trim that a little bit. I 
can go too far, let's bring it back in. Now you can use the same procedure to trim your oscillator if it has a front panel trim control. But again, I like this because it's more precise. Once I've got a couple octaves in tune, I'll start extending my range to see how wide of a range I can get in tune. So I'll go up another octave. Pretty close, but just a little bit out. So let's go ahead and improve that. Pretty stationary there. A little bit of movement in the bass there. Let's go ahead and trim that just a little bit. Go back up the octaves. Now you might need to retune middle C occasionally if you have drift, but this is pretty good. That's pretty good. That's about a five octave range of intonation now, which is much better than I did using the front panel control with the mother's built in trimmer. Now, if you do want more beating in between your oscillators, you can still detune them from the front panel using their main frequency controls. So you can go ahead and have that detuning if you want. But now you know it's going to be consistent across the keyboard rather than changing as you play up and down. Again, if you wanted to change as you play up and down the keyboard, you can adjust exactly how much tracking error you get by playing around with that trim on the V scale. But now that I have this in tune, I'm going to use output 2 all the time from now on to control the Moog Mod 32. In the next movie, let's go through that procedure again, but this time using a filter that was put into resonance to create a sine wave oscillator.